Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Angie. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to join our family. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add anime characters, fairy wings, cool backgrounds, anything like that. How to do really cool, awesome, exciting edits to your photos, kind of like these. It's really, really easy to do, and once you get the hang of it, you'll be adding all types of cool elements to your photos in no time. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the app that you're going to want to download is called Pixar. I promise you guys have probably heard of it before. It is a really popular and beginner friendly app to use to edit your photos in a variety of ways. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up Pixar and this is a free app to use. They do have some premium features, but for majority of the fun things you can do to your pictures, you can use the free version. So you're going to want to open up your picture and this is the one we're going to be using. And you're going to want to, after you've got your picture, if you need to do anything to crop it or enhance it or change the colors, you're going to want to do all that first and then to add characters or wings or a cool background or other elements you're going to go and click on sticker now once you're in sticker you can really search anything when i do my inspired tiktok videos i often use a transparent background and grab sticker images of the characters because the sticker is actually a png image meaning it's transparent and you can add it onto your photo and not have the background so for this, we are just going to search Kakashi because you guys know I love Kakashi and he's in a majority of my pictures. And once you search it, you're going to see that there's a variety of different images that have been tagged or categorized under Kakashi that are going to come up. So you could really add whatever you want. I could add the headband. I could add him, which is actually what we're going to do in a second. You can add the eyes. You can add the Sharingan eyes. You can add just about anything under the sticker tab to your photo. I'm just going to use this one right here of him. And I like to scale it up for the height, but it really just... It really just depends. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to flip this so he's on the other side of me. So I'm just going to go to the flip and rotate. It was already selected, but usually you actually have to go down here and scroll for it at the bottom. But I'm just going to flip that and actually have him standing on this side of me. And then I'm going to go up here to the erase button and I'm going to erase every bit of him that covers me because I actually want it to appear as if he's standing beside me, but behind me. Now for some images you have to do more work than others, it really just depends, but basically you just want to erase every aspect of the character that covers you or if you're covering the character depending on how you want it to be perceived. If you want the character to be behind you, you want to erase every bit of the character that covers you. If you want to be the high on the character, you have to erase every bit of, we well, have to make sure you just have the, yeah, just the opposite. <laughs> But because I just do these for my Instagram, and I will include my Instagram if you guys want to follow it. It's just my photo dump Instagram, but there's a lot of pictures of me on there with different anime characters that I love. Because I use this for my Instagram, I don't make it like incredibly perfect, but you can scale down the size of both the erase and the restore tool to get it as precise as you would like. So if you really want it to be really good with it, you could get you you know you get a stylus and really like hook it up. But for me, I don't make it like obnoxiously neat because it just goes onto my Instagram. I don't really do too much with the images. But this is me just cleaning up my arm. And I'm just gonna cover up this piece of hair because no one will know it was there to begin with. And now if you look at it, it looks like I'm standing in a picture with Kakashi. Now, if you want to add more to the image, you can obviously give it a shadow to make it look more authentic. Hey guys, my camera died, but no worries. We're just going to finish this with a voiceover. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is brushes. The brushes tool is so cool. They have so many different designs. I love to use the sparkles personally, but they have hearts, rainbows, pearls, words, all types of cool stuff that you can add to your photos as you see here.
Outside from anime characters, the stickers tool has so many different things you can add to your photos. If you wanted to add, for example, wings, you could add wings. There's a variety of different kinds. They have fairy wings, butterfly wings, angel wings, all types. Literally, there is no end to the amount of creativity you can create with the sticker tool alone in Pixar. And the same concept goes here as it went with, I showed you guys how to do Kakashi. You're just going to erase every part of the photo that covers, every part of the sticker that covers you to make it look as realistic as possible. So just keep in mind, if this was reality and you had wings, how would they look? That's exactly how you need to erase and restore to make Make your picture look really really clean And even though I only showed you guys mainly how to use the sticker tool and the brushes, there are so many things you can do with Pixar. They have filters, they have cool effects, they've got blur and noise and color changes and you can add all types of glitter and overlays. Pixar is a really, really incredible app to use and I personally love it and use it anytime I really just want my photo to pop more and look more creative and more fun and more exciting and eye-catching. So hopefully you guys are getting ready to close this video out and download Pixar and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!